Just one hour ago, James Webb's sensors confirmed what astronomers feared. Something inside interstellar object 3i Atlas is alive or engineered to behave that way. It pulses, it signals, and now it's shifting course toward the inner solar system. This isn't theory anymore. It's moving. It's real. And it's coming. Unexpected arrival. The interstellar visitor. In July 2025, a faint speck appeared in the sky. At first, it was just another fast-moving object, another icy rock passing through the outer edges of the solar system. But this one wasn't like the others. Its path didn't curve under the grip of the sun. It didn't loop or orbit. Instead, it came screaming in from beyond, following a hyperbolic trajectory, a clean mathematical fingerprint that only one kind of visitor carries. Interstellar. This was the third confirmed object of its kind. After Oumuamua in 2017 and 2 I Borisov in 2019, now came 3 I Atlas, but this time something was different, right from the beginning. Even at great distance beyond the heat of the sun, astronomers noticed the object already showing signs of activity. A faint coma, maybe unexpected brightness shifts. It didn't behave like a frozen passive body drifting in from the void. And it was moving fast. On October 29, 2025, it passed its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, at about 136 astronomical units just beyond Earth's orbit. Now it's coming closer, arcing through the inner solar system, and every telescope on Earth and beyond is watching. The James Webb Space Telescope, perched beyond the Moon's orbit, turned its precision infrared eyes toward 3i Atlas, not to chase headlines, but because what it saw from afar made no sense. Activity without sunlight. A core that glows before it's heated. We've never had this much data on an interstellar object. Never this much detail this early. And the story it's telling, it's not normal. This is more than a visitor. It's a puzzle falling into our backyard. And it's just starting to get strange. Infrared shock. A core that shouldn't glow. Deep space scans of 3i Atlas delivered a surprise that no one was expecting. Not a blurry heat signature. Not a diffuse tail, but a concentrated glow right at the object's core. A hotspot, bright, stable, and very wrong. According to models, any interstellar object of this size this far from the sun should be cold. Maybe faintly warming. Maybe shedding some volatiles if it's close enough. But this glow was three times brighter than it should be. Not flickering, not changing, not even behaving like a normal outgassing comet. No gas jets, no dust flares, just a steady, centered infrared signal like a constant engine humming deep inside. The heat didn't match any known cometary activity. It didn't spike during daylight and cool at night. It stayed constant, detached from solar heating. It seemed internal. The first response was skepticism. Maybe the instrument glitched. Maybe there was a reflection or some solar contamination in the signal. But multiple teams checked the calibrations, compared data from different angles, and ruled out obvious errors. This wasn't noise. The object was glowing from its core, not just reflecting sunlight. And it wasn't behaving like a comet at all. Something was inside 3i Atlas, and it was emitting energy, not just reacting to it. When something that shouldn't be warm is glowing, you check your math. When the math holds, you look closer. And the closer they looked, the weirder it got. Because this glow wasn't just constant, it pulsed. At first, the infrared glow from 3i Atlas was strange enough, unexplained, steady, and centered. But when analysts began plotting the thermal readings over time, a new pattern emerged. A pulse. Every four hours, like clockwork, the object's core would brighten, then fade, then brighten again. It wasn't a flare, and it wasn't chaotic like gas outbursts from a comet. It was rhythmic, precise, almost mechanical. And it didn't change even as the object moved through different distances from the sun. The sun's heat should have altered the pattern, amplified it during closer passes or changed the intervals, but the pulse stayed locked. Steady and unchanged across all measurements, even stranger, it didn't align with the object's rotation period, which had been independently measured at roughly six hours. That meant the glow wasn't tied to spinning surfaces reflecting light. It was something else entirely. This pulsing became known informally among research teams as the heartbeat. And the name stuck because it behaved like a biological rhythm, repeating, intentional, and oddly serene in its timing. The implications divided scientists. Some tried to frame it as a buried pocket of gas slowly venting, 
but no known mechanism could explain such precise periodicity with no external influence. Others suggested an internal heat source, possibly radioactive decay. But again, those signals wouldn't pulse like this. There was no flicker, no chaos, just a silent throb every four hours, stretching across millions of kilometers in deep space. When something pulses without cause, it means there's rhythm. And where there's rhythm, there may be reason. Whatever was causing it, it wasn't random. And as telescopes turned their ears toward the object, not just their eyes, they found something even stranger waiting. Radio signals. When radio observatories worldwide locked onto the coordinates of 3i Atlas, it was more out of curiosity than expectation. After all, space is full of background noise, bursts from stars, echoes from quasars, even the hiss of cosmic radiation itself. So when a radio pulse was detected coming from the object, no one believed it at first. But then it came again four hours later, exactly timed with the thermal pulse. It wasn't noise. It wasn't random. It was a narrow band transmission repeating at regular intervals, sitting in a frequency range, not typically associated with natural cosmic phenomena. The signal wasn't just a tone, it had structure. When run through Fourier analysis, it showed modulation, a carrier frequency layered with embedded patterns. Over several nights, multiple observatories confirmed the same result from opposite hemispheres, ruling out local interference. Each time the signal returned with the same interval, the same drift pattern, but with a curious twist, it seemed to respond slightly to changes in the solar wind, as if it wasn't just emitting blindly, but interacting, reacting to the environment it moved through. This wasn't just a thermal anomaly anymore. It was a transmitter, or at least it behaved like one. Random rocks don't send radio, they reflected. But this, this was talking. Was it a beacon, a glitch, a natural oscillation? No one could say. But the timing, the structure, and the consistency defied natural explanations. And then, as if to confirm the message or challenge our assumptions, the object flared, and its path changed. In mid-August 2025, astronomers monitoring 3i Atlas saw something they weren't prepared for. Without warning, the object's brightness surged, a 40% increase in under an hour. It wasn't subtle. It lit up across multiple wavelengths. Infrared, optical, even thermal bands all spiked. This time the data came from multiple observatories, all aligned, all recording the same thing. This wasn't a cometary jet or solar flare. It was centered on the object itself, a flare from deep within. And just as quickly as it came, it settled into a new baseline, brighter, hotter, more active than before. But the real shock came when the orbital models were updated. 3i Atlas had shifted trajectory before the flare. Its path had been stable, cutting across the inner solar system on a smooth hyperbolic arc. After the flare, that arc bent, not by much, but enough to catch the attention of every orbit tracking team on Earth. Its course now dipped closer to the ecliptic plane, adjusting slightly as if steered. At first, the assumption was outgassing. Maybe a powerful vent of carbon dioxide or water vapor had kicked off at the right angle, nudging the object slightly. But modeling the force required quickly ruled that out. The change was too clean, too controlled. It wasn't just a push, it looked like a maneuver.